Today I am going to attempt pouring on these wood pieces that I have. They're from a birch tree that was cut down. I'm not sure what was wrong with the tree, but it dried for approximately a year because it's hardwood and cut them in thin pieces like this. I've got another one and I'm going to try to pour on them. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to prime them. Um, they're not in the best shape. As you can see, there's little pits in them. So I'm going to try and prime them really good. And then I'll come back and go from there. Okay, I'm back. And I had to put a couple of coats on. I f the first coat I put on was just a thin coat mixed with flow troll, but it seeped right into the wood. It's very dry, so it soaked right in. And the wood is really not in the great con greatest condition. As you can see on the other side, there's little divots everywhere. So anyway, so I got paint straight out of the bottle and I put a lot on. It's still a little bit dampish, but I'm gonna start taping now. Uh, I'm going to try to tape the edge of this. If I can't get it to stay on because it's such a fine edge, I will just leave it. Um, and the, the painting I'm going to do, I don't think it will matter anyway. I'm just going to try to keep it away from the edge. And this one I, I didn't quite paint to the edge. I want the edge to be raw like wood. So I'm going to try and tape around here, but I'm going to tear the tape and not make it like straight so that it's kind of jaggedy and I hope that works so I will time lapse this and uh, I'll see you when I'm back Okay, I've taped them up. This one here, uh, very close to the edge, but I managed to do it. Okay, so it's protected a little bit. I'm just trying to push it down a little bit more so that it doesn't seep through too much if I get to the edges. So that's pretty good. And this one here, I I didn't quite go to the edge. I just left a little bit of a of the wood showing and then I just put another layer of tape added to the other tape so that it protects it more. So I'm going to put that one aside right now. I'm going to work on this one first. I think I'll do the puddle thing. I'm going to be using black, white, silver, a little bit of red in the middle um, at the end, after and the paint's moved a bit, just to push it out and make it look, I don't know, maybe like a flower or something. I'm going to put dimethicone in the black and in the red. So I've got uh, coconut milk serum. It's got dimethicone in it. I'm going to put probably two in the black, two drops. And then one in the red, it's over here. That's it. Give it a stir. And I won't put any in the silver. Okay, I'm just going to show you the consistency of the white as I mix it. It's like warm honey flowing off your stick. Alrighty. Okay. Alright. 
in the middle there. And I got I don't have the back protected at all. So I don't think I'm even gonna get that far. So and I just noticed that it's curved <laughs> in a bit here. So this is curved this way. So I'm kind of round, if you can see. So hopefully I'm careful and I'm, it doesn't run right off. But even if it does, it should be okay. thing here. It's better than using a straw. Rotating my rotating thing here so I can spin it. All right. it dries okay. I'm gonna just lift it up so you can see a closer look. Okay so I am gonna put this away and I'll be back to do the next one. Back to the second one. I'm just going to pour it on. I'm going to pour the paint in the cup on the side and just a few times, I don't know, a few different layers. <music> Thank you. 
I think it's pretty cool. It's going to be dark, but it's okay. And I hope it doesn't crack because it's very thick. Uh, the paint wasn't as thin as I wanted, or as I should have been. So, we'll see. I will um, come back with the dried results of both of them. Um, if you like my videos, please subscribe and hit the like button. And if you, if you have any comments, questions, just leave me a comment in the um, below the video, and I will get, gladly get back to you. So, bye for now, and uh, I'll see you when it's dry. Hello. So I am going to see if my uh, paintings are dry. As you can see, I covered them up with a box that I made so that they would take um, longer to dry. Because the paint was so thick I was worried that they wouldn't dry, that they would crack. So. Let's see. Okay, they are dry. So I'm going to take them over to the table here and I'm going to take the tape off. Okay, there's one. And there's the other one. dry too. It looks a little damp around the edges. So let's take this over too. It's coming off good. It looks like I should have sanded the wood down more because as you can see the grain through um, try to show you here on the, you can see here right here you can see the grain but still it looks okay and the edges nothing really went underneath so and it's kind of nice to have it rough like that to show the wood through. Okay, so that one's fine. And I guess it will look a lot brighter when I varnish it. Alright, let's take the next one off. pretty good it didn't really it only seeped under a couple of spots really nothing nothing great I mean nothing a lot I'm sorry <laughs> um, it's fine so it looks cool I like it and it dried okay it didn't crack but again with the grain I if you're gonna do this on the wood unless you like that look of grain uh, sand it down more this was pretty rough. It was cut with a uh, chainsaw. So it's pretty rough, but it's okay. It'll look a lot nicer once it's varnished. And the bark is still there on the edge. Okay. So anyway, it worked out. All right. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye for now. Here's the dried results. I'll zoom in. Very bright out here. I can hardly 
see what I'm doing. It's so bright. I'm just in my sunroom. All right. Bye for now.